Praise be to God. Daily one missionary biography. Today's missionary James Calvert. Date of birth 3/1/1813. Date of death 8/3/1892. Native place Pickering, Yorkshire. Country England. Place of vision Fiji Islands and South Africa. James Calvert was a Methodist missionary from Yorkshire who was known for his missionary work in Fiji. When he was 14 he worked as an apprentice for a printer and a bookbinder for 7 years and the skill which he acquired then were extensively used in his later ministry. In 1837 he joined Oxton Theological College but was soon discontinued for he was sent on a mission to Fiji along with missionaries John Hunt and Thomas Jagger. They reached Lakemba, a Fijian island in December 1838. Calvert became proficient in the native language very quickly. Living among cannibals and serving them with the love of God is not an easy mission. Besides irregular supplies from overseas and health problems, amidst of all, his wife Mary Fowler stood beside him as a great companion and rendered invaluable services in ministry. In 1848, Calvert was appointed to Weaver Island. One re- remarkable fruit of Calvert's ministry is the conversion of Ratu Seru Kakoba, also spelled Takomba, king of the United Fijian Islands. Calvert's mission services were significant in two areas: providing Fijians with Bible and playing the role of mediator in local wars and in conflicts of locals with foreign settlers. In 1855, Calvert went back to England. with David Hazelwood's Fijian's translation manuscript of the whole testament and helped to produce 5000 copies of the Fijian Bible and 1000 copies of the New Testament he came back to Fiji in 1861 and served till January 1865 in 1872 he offered himself to meet the need of a missionary with the administrative skills to work in South Africa With patience and love he served the church of inequality where whites were unwilling to gather for worship along with Africans. He returned to England in 1881, revisited Fiji in 1886 and finally left for his heavenly abode in 1892. Beloved, do you realize that the talents and skills you acquired are in the plan of God to use in his ministry? Lord Give me the burden to establish peace and unity in the society and the church. Amen.